Hey guys, the aim of this video is to show you the steps on how to solve this integral sine of square root of x. So our first step we will let t equals the square root of x. Therefore dt dx equals to 1 on 2 square root of x. And if we rewrite our integral, we have the integral of sine square root of x, which we denote as t dx. Now we want to find something for the term dx, so we rearrange our equation over here, and we have dx equals to 2 times the square root of x dt. So over here we have the square root of sine of t times dx, which is 2 times the square root of x dt. One thing to note over here is that our t is actually equal to the square root of x. So we can replace the square root of x over here with t. And quickly rewriting this integral, we can take the 2 out as a common factor. So we're left with 2 times the t times sine t dt. For our next step, we'll be using the integration by parts formula for this section over here, where this part equals to our u and this part equals to our dv. So we have u equals to t, therefore du dt equals to 1. And our dv, we denote it as sine t. Therefore our v is the integral of sine, which is negative cosine t. So using the integration by parts formula, we're left with 2 outside of u times v, which is negative t cosine t, minus by the integral of v du, so negative cosine t. Our next step is to expand the brackets, so we're left with negative 2 t cosine t. Over here we have double negatives, so we'll cancel out, we become a plus. And our integral of cosine t is sine t times the 2 in front. Plus c. And our last step is to replace the t's with square root of x to bring the integral back to the x world. So we're left with negative 2 times square root of x. Cosine of square root of x. Plus 2 sine square root of x plus c and this over here is your answer